the, the, the biggest institution of the Shia was in Iraq. Most of the Shia schools were in, were in Iraq, but they were inside the Hawza. People were outside on the street, some of them didn't know how to pray properly, how to fast properly, because the Hawza was locked on itself. Sayyid Muhammad Bakr Sadr, with the, some of the children of Sayyid al-Hakim, they convinced the Marja Sayyid al-Hakim to open up, to send different wukala, different people representing him to different places, to different states in Iraq, to open a library in every mosque. So they made a movement inside Iraq. And even inside the Hawza, he was working on, on changing some of the curriculums in the Hawza. When it comes to Usul, for example, he wrote a new book, he insisted on his uh, students to learn al-iqtisaduna, falsafatuna, and he was planning to write uh, mujtama'una. So it was a reformation movement from all aspects. He was working on the Islamic knowledge, on politics, on responding on the different views, on trying to uh, change the way uh, the leadership works inside the, the Hawza from all different aspects. This is the reformation movement that Sayyid Muhammad Bakr Sadr was doing. And this is the reformation movement that we would support. A scholar who is strong in his knowledge, who knows his limits, his shari'i, his Islamic limits, and who is able to change in a positive way.